Statistics show that over 50% of all businesses fail after five years in the United States. 40% of startup failures are due to a bad fit, followed closely at 38% from lack of time and involvement. Although these issues can be solved, if multiple failures without any guarantee of success scare you, it is probably a sign you are not cut out to be an entrepreneur. In this video, I will show you 9 signs that you can never be an entrepreneur. If you are one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel, learn directly from him or ask him any questions. Thanks. 1. You are on a quest for quick cash. While profit is the result of a successful business, it should not be the only reason why you are in business. Entrepreneurship is different from being a mere businessman or woman. Although, businessmen and women go into business with the sole aim of getting money to cater for their responsibilities, entrepreneurs seek to solve problems. Entrepreneurs look around themselves in search of needs. They creatively craft out a blueprint for their proposed ideas and secure available opportunities to execute plans. For example, in 1997, Daniel C. Stearson launched a disability insurance services, a provider of disability insurance product to fill a gap in the marketplace. In Stearson's words, you should start a business to solve problems and serve others. If you do that, the cash will follow, but it can take time. If you focus on profit alone, it will be easy for you to fall out of business when a loss inevitably hits you. 2. You don't believe in marketing. No matter what the economy looks like, you've got to keep marketing. It makes the business world go round. Marketing is the process of developing and deploying strategies to make people buy your product. Many individuals believe that the key to making massive sales is great products and services. However, the right product without marketing is like owning an exotic car but not being able to drive it around. It is admired but not used. At the same time, some people do not just believe in marketing. Some others who believe are often reluctant to spend money on marketing campaigns. You must be willing to continue to throw revenue at marketing, no matter what. If you do not believe in marketing and cannot invest money into marketing, then forget entrepreneurship. It is not for you. 3. You are fond of passing problems. As an entrepreneur, you must be willing to upset the apple cart and make decisions. Sometimes your customers may not even be happy with your new resolutions. Still, if the decision is for the best interest of your customers, you've got to find a way to communicate with your customers and be comfortable with your decision. You must also be able to resolve problems. Many people may face when faced with challenges prefer just to run away than meet them. Their constant passing of the issue is the reason why these individuals have so many unfinished projects. If there is a challenge, they drop the entire venture. Understand that if you are unwilling to handle something immediately, it will not go away. Instead, it grows bigger. 4. You like to remain in your comfort zone. When you are an entrepreneur, there are no flat surfaces. No two days are the same. One day you could be by yourself all day writing proposals, designing or branding your product. The next day you could be fielding sales calls or interviewing personnel. Today you are tackling a steep hill and then tomorrow you are on a gut wrenching free fall. A successful entrepreneur is one who is willing to accept the uncertainties that come with each new day and learn to be comfortable in discomforting situations. Someone who does not like to step out of his or her comfort zone can never be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is not for those with a weak stomach. 5. You mismanage time. If you cannot manage your time effectively, you are bound to fail as an entrepreneur. The reason why many individuals clamor to be their bosses is because of the supposed time flexibility. However, owning your business is not a license to misuse time. The amount of time dedicated to your business at its early stage determines how well your business will grow. Although, when you work for yourself, no boss is looking over your shoulder or monitoring your time card to make sure you are working hard. But it does not mean that you would not put in much effort. Come to think of it, if you are not working hard at your own business, 
Why are you even doing it? If you do not know how to prioritize your activities and manage your time accurately, you can never be an entrepreneur. 6. You are not emotionally intelligent. Emotional intelligence is not just a nice thing to have in your personal life. It is becoming increasingly valuable in the business sphere. Many business owners assume that with only knowledge and resources, they will be able to succeed in business. However, emotional intelligence is essential because it involves being able to recognize and manage how you feel at every given time and being able to perceive and handle other people's emotions. Through research, emotional intelligence has been discovered to be the number one indicator of success, but unfortunately, most entrepreneurs have it in short supply. The lack of emotional intelligence is one of the primary reasons why many entrepreneurs fall out of business within a short period. So, if you are not emotionally intelligent, you cannot be an entrepreneur. 7. You are not an action taker. A lot of people think making a business plan means they're starting a business. This doesn't seem right. Planning means nothing without action. A recent study in the European Union found that almost 40% of people considering entrepreneurship are scared of failing. Many individuals do not understand that an entrepreneur's life isn't a pardoning one. They assume that it is all about having strategies. While strategies are needed, you have to be ready to put in more work. You are even especially pressed for time in the early stages of your business. You may not be able to spend as much time with family and friends as you'd like. You might feel like everything you're doing is for your business because it probably is. Being an entrepreneur isn't for the faint of heart and it's not for people who are afraid to fail. You can make the necessary plans to start your business while still taking daily action to get there. 8. Perfectionism A famous adage says, the enemy of progress is perfection. This saying is right for everyone, especially for entrepreneurs. Perfectionists are never able to substantially grow their business because they want to do everything without making mistakes and they are never able to delegate effectively enough to gain scale. They also have a hard time getting products and services to market because instead of pursuing minimum viable products or services, that is, a product or service good enough to please the customer, they want everything to be well perfect. Perfectionists also fear failure so most times they would instead not carry out a task than to do it and make mistakes. Being willing and able to fail correctly is part of the critical risk taking and pivoting process that allows entrepreneurs to excel. Thus, if you are a perfectionist, you will have a hard time growing a business. 9. You are too delusional. Many individuals are more enamored with the fantasy of entrepreneurship than with actually running a small business. People look at successful entrepreneurs and admire them. However, they fail to see that being a successful entrepreneur is a process. Starting a business is fun, but running it and doing the necessary business, which is blocking and tackling every single day, is what makes the business successful. For you to succeed as an entrepreneur, you must be able to accept the challenges faced in the real world. Indeed, it is necessary to tap into the creative part of your brain, to think about what would be if the journey was free from challenges? But you have included possible challenges when you draw out your plan. You can never be an entrepreneur if you live only in fantasy and dreams. Wake up to life's realities and face them. One thing many people fail to understand is that being an entrepreneur is not for everyone. If you're one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel. Learn directly from him or ask him any questions. Thanks.